Hello all, in this video we will see about the previous year questions from the subject dental materials. These are important questions which will help you cover at least 40% of your syllabus and will help you in writing the exams very well. So let us start with the topics related to conservative dentistry. To start with cements, you know the basic cements will be asked definitely. For example, zinc phosphate cement, zinc polycarboxylate cement, calcium hydroxide, sometimes asked as dical. Then you have GIC as an essay frequently asked and the modifications of GIC like metal modified GIC, resin modified GIC which are important essays and the classification of the dental cements will be often asked as a starting point for essays. In regarding the techniques uh, you can ask, you can expect frozen glass technique, uh, sandwich technique uh, which is uh, in which GIC is kept underneath and the composite is placed over that and the newer developments in GIC which means the modifications of the GIC and the resin cements that is the dual cure cements which are which are both self cure and light cure and it is also a modification of the GIC fluoride releasing cements which indirectly denote GIC and um, these are the commonly asked questions in the chapter uh, cements Moving on to the next chapter, we have pulp protecting agents, cavity liners, cavity bases, cavity varnishes, sometimes cavity sub bases. These are asked based on the, um, like these are used based on the remaining dentin thickness. If it is uh, like 2 mm, one uh, we what we use, if it is less than 2 mm, what we use, you should know these things both for viva and for uh, exam purpose. And agents for pulp protection in general can be asked for which you have to answer, including all these three. Regarding the cements, I need to add a point like GIC and resin modified GICs have been asked as essays. Other cements have been asked frequently as 5 mark questions, though they can be asked as essay questions. So the next important chapter is composite. Classification of dental composite is very important. Defined dental composite have been also asked. And uh, regarding the bonding agent, dental bonding agent, the generations. The generations of dental bonding agents is a very important topic. Coupling agents, microfilled composite, which is which uh, will you will learn when you learn about classification of composites like microfilled composites, uh, uh, hybrid composite all these come under the uh, classification part you have to compare small particle and hybrid composite in one question like dual cure composites organic fillers which are a part of the components of composite okay and acid etching technique on what basis it works you need to tell the mechanism behind it the and what you do in acid etching technique all those uh, questions need to be answered and hybrid layer that is the mechanism of bonding in resin modified GIC is also this hybrid layer is what forms uh, when it forms and how what is the property of hybrid layer if you have any doubt you ask it if you need any clarity regarding the mechanism of bonding of composite you can refer to our video on composites uh, and if you need any specific topic to be dealt in detail, please mention in the comments. Polymerization shrinkage have also been asked. The next topic, amalgam, a very famous topic. Admixed alloys, Eames technique are rare questions, but the, basically they will start with classification of dental amalgam, followed by high copper amalgam and low copper amalgam. Then uh, miracle mix where uh, GIC powder is mixed with uh, amalgam alloy powder and the mercury um, uh, hygiene recommendations in dental operatory. The reason why amalgam is not used these days will be covered here. Dimensional changes of amalgam. Eames technique that is the 1 is to 1 ratio of powder and alloy uh, that is mercury and alloy powder and admixed alloys what are the nature of admixed alloys mercury toxicity which in turn will be covered here setting reaction of high copper amalgam what is the difference between high copper amalgam and low copper alloy is one of the important factors to be dealt so these are the questions to be concentrating on amalgam Moving on to the next chapter, sorry, you have two more questions in amalgam. Gamma 2 phase, what is the gamma 2 phase? That will be dealt when you learn about high copper amalgam and low copper amalgam. What is gamma 2 phase and what is trituration? Along with trituration, sometimes mulling can also be asked. And the direct filling gold is the next chapter in which you need to know about um, in detail. Actually, direct filling gold in detail has been asked as essay. So, you will cover everything. 
but uh, in separate five mark questions have been asked in gold foil annealing what is the method of annealing degassing has also been asked forms of uh, uh, direct filling gold which will cover in this question define and classify noble metals and techniques for removal of surface impurities in direct filling gold so these are the common questions this is a very small chapter but definitely one question you can expect from direct filling gold so this are these are the other uh, topics before moving to the other topics let us see about the prostor related topics gypsum regarding gypsum first you should know about types of gypsum products and uh, sometimes dye stone have been asked as a separate question classify gypsum products as an essay write in detail about the setting reaction expansion the hygroscopic expansion and delayed expansion of gypsum have been asked so classify gypsum and write in detail you need to know the classify gypsum and write in detail you need to know like for example the water powder ratio the setting time for each gypsum product you need to know the next chapter impression materials in impression materials as usual define impression and uh, write in uh, detail about impression materials like properties classification and applications a dimensional stability of impression material is a small topic elastomeric impression materials have been asked in detail uh, write in detail about addition silicone you need to know about the other three impression material elastomeric impression materials also hydrocolloids is a separate topic which is an important essay you need to know about agar and alginate irreversible hydrocolloids have been asked separately that is alginate zinc oxide impression paste have been asked non aqueous impression materials additional silicones have been asked as an essay question the left out questions here are elastomeric impression materials sometimes asked as silicone rubber based impression materials and um, that is which includes addition silicone and condensation silicone synergies and in imbibitions what are the process of this what is this and where it occurs and room temperature vulcanizing silicones have been asked impression compound have been asked impression compound and uh, zinc oxide eugenol impression paste though rare it is asked often in your uh, exam level uh, in practical level as you go to your clinical side you will not see those things uh, but in college level you will definitely read about them and work with them so be thorough with these materials the next chapter acrylics in acrylics you have to read about fluid resin technique injection molding technique compression molding technique uh, separately you have to read about self cure that is cold cure and heat cure the properties of both polymerization cycle so what is the heat cure cycle you need to know separating media in detail about the sodium alginate used in separating media that is cold mold seal the soft liners tissue conditioners have been asked as a five mark question separately ceramics another important topic you need to know about the definition properties and classification of ceramics strengthening of ceramics is a very important and expected question there are five to uh, six points in strengthening of ceramics which you you should remember and write it out all ceramic restorations have been asked dicor have been asked glass ceramics have been asked pressable ceramics and that bond between metal and ceramic how it works cad cam technique which is an emerging technique which is almost used in the uh, um, clinical and the laboratory practices these days cad cam technique have been asked computer aided designing and computer aided milling waxes dental waxes have been asked refer to our video on waxes it will help you out inlay wax have been asked in detail as essay dental inlay uh, casting wax dental inlay casting wax have been asked and types of waxes so any before starting any chapter be sure to read about the classification types and then dive into it detail so as you have seen till now regarding gic or composite they have been asking about classification the types and then only in detail about a particular type so it's your duty to read about the classification and types casting techniques the lost wax techniques a very important question so the components in the lost wax technique that is proof proof former uh, and divestment what is the investing materials actually 
they it is a very important question epoxy resin dyes what is the nature of it dye hardener what are dyes what is the difference between a dye and a cast a single tooth form of a cast is a dye you need to know the definitions for both electroformed dye what is the property of that casting failures and how to avoid them it is a very important question both in vivas and in theories casting failures and how to avoid them what is an induction casting machine what is a casting ring liners and what is ringless casting technique it has also been asked that is the ringless casting technique what is that and porosity is in dental casting that is it is one of the part of the casting failures porosity is in dental casting hot spot porosity all these topics will will be covered in casting failures also as i said ringless casting have been asked steps in dental casting and dye materials casting alloys and casting investments investment materials as i said before what are the different types of investment material gypsum bonded investment material phosphate bonded investment material you need to know in detail about them and regarding alloys you need to know about the cobalt chromium nickel alloys what are the advantages and disadvantages of them chromium cobalt alloys the composition uses advantages and disadvantages dental casting investments you need to know about in detail about both gypsum and phosphate bonded but in uh, for the beginners you need to know about the definition the requirements the setting expansion and the classification for essay this these questions come under polishing and trimming in polishing you need to know about what is abrasion what is polishing what are the abrasives used what are the abra abrasive instruments used what is the design of that what are rubber abrasives what is electrolytic polishing and what are the dental burrs used in polishing and trimming wrought alloys soldering and welding this is related to the orthodontics part of um, dental materials rotalis are also used in clasps for temporary rpd 188 stainless steel what is the nature of that and what is uh, soldering welding what is brazing what is flux and anti flux what is the shape memory of nitite alloys you need to know about the 188 stainless steel in detail types of stainless steel and uh, nitite in detail it is a must now we have left out physical properties chapter which is the first chapter in your anusavis that is philips uh, physical properties is common for all the dental materials you need to know about them surface hardness coefficient of thermal expansion color the dimensions of color shade selection hue value and chroma we have a video on that refer to it Viscos viscosity of dental materials tarnish and corrosion we also have a video on that principles of adhesion tarnish and corrosion you also about galvanic corrosion it has been asked stages in addition polymerization and straight strain hardening of wrought alloys it is also property of wrought alloys also about ductility and malleability what is creep the time dependent change stress and strain a very important viva topic eutetic and peritetic alloys it has been asked as five mark abrasion and erosion hardening heat treatment here you saw about strain hardening of wrought alloys hardening heat treatment is another uh, question so we saw about uh, the major topics there are some miscellaneous topics which will be covered like biocompatibility which will come in the first uh, few chapters of uh, anusavis biocompatibility uh, the tests for biocompatibility and the adverse effects of the dental materials have been asked like mercury alloy and that is the amalgam you need to tell about them implant the definition classification and the implant materials like what is uh, uh, what are the common materials used in implant manufacturing and the surface coatings have also been asked commercially pure titanium what is that you need to know pit and fissure sealants as we saw anti cariogenic uh, agents and the dentrifices used though they are not proper dental materials they have been asked here denture based materials the ideal requirements of the denture based material denture teeth materials difference between acrylic and porcelain teeth have also been asked micro leakage toxicity of dental materials the mechanical bonding and cermets are some some other few miscellaneous topics so we saw about almost the topics of interest if you are 
really running out of time if you are near your exams referring to these topics will definitely help you get through your exams if you have leisure time in hand kindly read your book try to know more about dental materials but these questions will definitely help you in your exams and in your viva so see you soon in the next video these questions were referred from previous year questions of tn mgr mu medical university and uh, if you are from other universities also definitely these questions will somewhat correlate uh, since the syllabus is same throughout the country uh, see you soon in the next video and thank you hope you find it useful